Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and we harvested our first weather and so I got some fat that I'm going to render down into some tallow and as well as get one of these legs in our Instapot. So many of you, those of you who have been following us, know that this is something we have been wanting to do. Um, you know, harvest our weathers. There's just going to be an abundance of them as, as our herd grows and they're an extremely healthy meat, a delicious meat, and it is a byproduct of breeding goats. So this was our first one. No, we did not film it. Um, it was, again, our first time. I am very excited about it, and if you guys see, we got quite a bit of meat. So, I mean, the ribs and the legs and the flanks, and we did eat the back straps. This is from a weather that was not even quite a year old. So quite a bit of meat. I mean, it's not nothing. Obviously, this isn't the amount of meat you would get from a, a meat goat, but we don't raise meat goats. So this is what we got. And again, very delicious meat. Also, pretty excited about this. This is the, ta uh, well, it's gonna be tallow, but this is the fat that we got. I cut into tiny little chunks. Most of this came from right around the kidney um, and it's a lot harder fat. It's a it's a wider fat, and it's in, and it's a lot harder. So this is what I'm going to be rendering down today, and to make tallow. So I'm hoping to be able to make it. Well, I am going to use it in a soap, but I'm hoping I can get to that tomorrow. So it takes quite a few hours to actually render down to get the tallow. So I need to get going on that. Okay, so as I was saying, I cut these into some pretty small pieces. Um, from what I understand, the smaller the piece, then the quicker it's going to render, for one, because this takes quite a few hours to do. Um, and the method I'm going to use is in the crock pot, which there is a couple different methods you could do. Some people will put it in the oven, very, very low and slow, and just let it render down that way. Some people will put it on the stove in a stock pot. Um, I going to, the method I think I'm going to prefer, rather, is going to be in my crock pot, uh, just low and slow. Our, we're not trying to cook this. What we pretty much are wanting to do, like as low as possible, heat-wise, just get all of the liquid fat out of here. Um, and then obviously get the tallow. But again, as low and slow as possible. You don't want it boiling, you don't want it simmering, because then it's going to cook it. I want to try to keep it as white as possible and not get like the tan coloring into it again because I want my white soap but and also that's preferred method if you can get it to be white so we're gonna get it in the crock pot and let's see so if you guys can see it's really not a whole bunch out of out of one weather I'm not real sure once it's rendered down. We'll just have to see how much I actually get. But now at this point, um, some people will add just a touch of water, and the point for adding the water, it will um, come out of it. It's gonna it's gonna boil and steam out of it, so you don't have to worry about it being like water tallow. But you don't want it sticking to the bottom because obviously this is this is grease, this is fat, um, and you don't want that sticking to the bottom. So you could stir it constantly for a while, you know, every few minutes to just until that um, some of the tallow starts rendering out, but uh, a lot of people will just put a little bit of water just to not worry about it, make sure that it's not getting seared or stuck to the bottom. So I'm going to add just a very tiny bit, maybe a quarter cup of water into this, and then I'm going to turn it on low and we'll show you guys what that looks like here here soon. I'm not sure how long it'll take before we can see it rendering. So I'll show you as soon as I see it. Alright, so it's been about an hour here and it's already starting to render down. See that in there? We've got a long way to go, but it's starting. Alright, so I'm all set up to start getting the goat ready to put in the Instant Pot, but first, it's been about another 40 minutes, so I'm going to show you guys what that fat rendered, rendering down into tallow is looking like. So really not much more. It's doing its thing, but this takes a long time. Alright, so I got my Instant Pot ready. Um, what I'm going to do first 
is turn it on to saute, which is pretty cool because I want to brown this a little bit, give it a nice caramelized outside, good flavor. And while well, this is warming up for me to saute in it, I'm gonna start seasoning this here goat. So all of the seasonings or the herbs and the garlic that we're gonna be using are from the garden. So that's also very cool. Grass-fed goat, also very cool. So what we're gonna use, I'm gonna put some olive oil, just rub it in olive oil. And the seasonings, I have thyme, parsley, a couple leaves of sage, garlic, and then salt, sea salt and fresh cracked pepper. All right, so just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna rub the bad boy in olive oil. I did cut the meat around this leg so that I could fit it into the Instapot, or even a crock pot for that matter, because when you have it like that, <clears throat> it's not as easy. So not too much olive oil. I'm gonna start with the salt and pepper. Okay, now time. Parsley. Okay, that's all I'm looking for for now. The sage and the garlic I'm gonna put there in the end. So, I'm gonna get this pretty side down here in the pot and it is hot very, very quickly. I'm actually gonna clean my hands real quick and put a little more olive oil. All right, that sucker got hot in like seconds. All right, so we're gonna try to squeeze that in there nice. Hey, for a minute. If you guys could smell that already. I'm loving this thing already. This is the first time we've used the Instapot. So, watched a lot of recipes. A lot of you guys gave, you know, the three sisters. Didn't find a goat recipe on there, so I'm kind of winging this, but... They have a lot of really cool recipes and a lot of how-tos, so I found that channel very helpful. So thank you guys for pointing me to that direction. All right, and he's about ready to be flipped over. Okay, you run out a few minutes. It smells really good, you guys. Really good. All right. Spend another few minutes. Look that bad boy. Nice and caramelized. I can already get that leg down in there to get the color in, but that's okay. It's still going to give it a lot of flavor. So now, I'm going to take that out of there because I'm also going to put some kale in the bottom. Turn the saute off, but that, that thing got hot so fast. That was actually pretty amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna get my kale. I have a lot of kale growing in the garden, obviously, that time of year. Love that noise. I'm gonna get it. Soak up all that meat flavors and the remaining of the olive oil. Now, I'm going to put the meat back in, right on top. Looking good. So now here is when 
I'm just going to put the garlic in here. Make sure some gets on top. I like garlic, especially cooked garlic. And then the sage leaves. I'm going to put it on top of the meat and in there. Now, you need some liquid, obviously, pressure cooker. So you do have to have a liquid. I don't know that I need a cup and a half. I have to say it was really, really hard to find a recipe. And like I told you guys, I'm, I'm just winging it. It was hard to find one. I didn't find one. So, again, I'm just winging it. Nobody's cooking any goat in there. Instant pot, apparently. So I'm going to put some... This is just chicken broth. But I don't want to put too much. I'm going to go with a cup. I think that will be good. Okay. Now, here's for the important part. Obviously, make sure your ring is sealed all the way around. These doohickeys are on. And... Let's see if I can do... Oh, yep, just like that. Oh. You guys hear that beeping? It makes a little jingle, which is pretty cool. So watch. That means it's not. Now it is sealed. Okay. This venting thing over here, you know, if you have it like this, that means the air is going to come out. You're going to, it's not, you're just going to be cooking for life. It might not even work. So, have it over here. It's another thing, it's so loose, I was worried that that was broken when I got it, but it wasn't. It's supposed to be. So, all right, it says it's sealed. So we're good there. You have all of these different, you know, you could do meat or stew, beans, chili, soup, slow cooker. Can't wait to use the yogurt. But anyway, I'm from what I've seen, or whatever, especially from Three Sisters, I'm just gonna hit pressure cook. And then I'm going to tell it how long to cook. I'm looking at two hours here. I want that bad boy to be fall off the bone. Okay. I'm pretty sure I just let it be. Perfect. Okay. Now it's going to start doing its thing. It's going to warm up and it's going to start pressurizing. And then when the timer goes off in two hours, which will be... About 6.15, so that's not too bad. Um, and then I don't know how long. So from what I read, I don't know that I'm going to undo the seal to let the steam out really quick. I think I'm just going to let it do it on its own because it'll, it'll steam out or unpressurize really slowly on its own time, which gives it more time to cook. Um, and when I... So we'll see. I don't know. This is the first time we've done it. And again, I didn't get any information on how long to do it. Uh, there was a lot of things on uh, leg of lamb, but that is, you know, a lot of people like that pretty much raw or even medium. And I want this bad boy cooked all the way through. So a little bit different, but we'll have to see. All right, so we're about 48 minutes in with this uh, goat here. And it smells really good, but something I've noticed I thought if that thing was popped up, it's venting, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that means it seals it, so. Nothing's coming out of it, though, so it must be doing its thing. So let's check the fat here. Ooh-wee. Look at the spoon, you guys. I stir it. Hello. Oh, it gets really hard. Wow. Now it's doing something. Let's see. We're getting somewhere. That's a lot of tallow that's rendered out. Cool. But, if you guys see, like, how... Some of it's getting a little dark. I don't want it to cook, and I don't necessarily want it to be 
it's pretty much boiling. So what I want is more of just a slow simmer. So what I'm going to do, because it's getting hot, it's on low. It's on low, but what I'm going to do for just maybe a little bit and keep an eye on it is just put it on warm. Because again, I want this to render out as slowly as possible. I don't want it necessarily... I don't want it to cook. That's. I don't want that. I want it to be a really white, slowly rendered tallow. So we're going to put that just on warm for a little bit and get that temperature down and then maybe I might have to put it back on low. So it's been about 10 minutes since I took it from low to warm and this is what I want to see so check it out. See how it's the lighting here's not that great but it quit boiling like it did it's still bubbling a little but I just want it to slowly slowly render not necessarily get all brown and change the liquid color. See how clear it is? That's what we're looking for. I want to keep it that way until it's all rendered. In about probably 20-30 minutes I'll check it again and make sure it's still doing its thing. I might turn it back on to low just to get get it going again. Alright so we just got back in from choring and enjoying the sunset got a little bit chilly out there but this thing says L006 when we got in it said four minutes so I don't know what that means but I do know I'm not gonna mess with it because I could release this vent the ceiling if I if I turned it over here it's gonna release the steam a lot quicker but I want it to do its thing so I'm going to leave it be. So let's check the tallow. Ooh wee, look at that. This is what I want. Look at it all rendering down. And staying clear. That's awesome. Quite a bit in there. So, okay. Obviously like that chunk has a long way to go. This guy here. And well, all of them. But this one, right there, is probably almost rendered out. Whereas, again, this fat boy here has a long way to go. So there's a lot of liquid in there. Or tallow. And I just want to make sure, it's still on warm. I haven't, I haven't turned it up at all. But as we were outside doing the chores, it's probably been about 35, 40 minutes or so. And keeping it on warm, it's really done, it's had a lot of progress here. And it's not bubbling, it's not boiling, it's not simmering. It's just warm enough to render all of that out. So I think I might just keep it on warm. I don't want it to, to start cooking. So that's the goal here. So it's only 6.30 right now. It's not bedtime yet, but... I want to keep it on warm and I don't want to necessarily have it going overnight because I don't want it to burn so we'll just keep it on warm and see how it's going but it's doing really good right now so okay so I feel a little ridiculous this bad boy says <laughs> an hour and six minutes that it, it has been depressurizing so I had to look it up because I thought like it would give me some sort of indication because I was letting it do its do its thing naturally right and I thought it would give me an indication or it would stop it's not gonna stop I had to like YouTube that so anyway apparently this little valve because it's now down as soon as that valve goes down that means it's okay and it's safe to open the lid. I'm still a little scared because it's the first time I used it so I'm going to just turn this thing to venting. Oh look nothing comes up. So 
In other words, I probably could have opened this pot a heck of a long time ago. But I didn't, and now I know. So here we go. Ooh, look at that sale. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what. Oh, that smells really good. The fact that that bone is no longer connected to the meat tells me that is some really tender meat. It look. Oh my gosh, that smells good. So, we're going to pull that out and see what we got. So with this thing, if you need to open it or whatever, like they have the, the little notches on the side and they also have in the handles is the hole. So, you can do that, which is cool. But, so you guys can see, let's try to get this, look at that. Dog is gonna love that. So I guess I'll put <laughs> I'll put that there first. All right, let's see. Oh, well, my goal was to have fall off the bone meat, and I definitely achieved that. Let's try that meat there. That is very, 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 very tender. So goat meat gets a bad rap. Um, it's something that you have to cook long and slow, depending on the age of the goat. But um, this was a young goat, so look at that, guys. That is some tender, beautiful meat. Oh my goodness. The only thing I wish that I would have realized is like, I, I mean, like I could have totally, um, you know, this, this point here, look, this thing. So it's up like that when it's pressurized. And when it's done, it goes down. So when I was looking at the timer, I thought it was gonna let me know when it was done and it just in reality wasn't gonna let me know so we gotta watch this little doohickey here that's what we gotta watch when that goes back down that means it's safe to open and you're good to go so but either way I, I say I wish I would have but I mean look at that meat falling apart. That is the goal I wanted to achieve. Happy, happy. All right, so I'm going to get dinner around and we still have the tallow. It's still uh, rendering, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering like if I just leave it on warm overnight while I sleep because it's not Again, I'm, I, I'm trying to achieve the really super, super slow render. So we're going to check the tallow, but I want to see you guys just as I stir it and what's left on the spoon. Look at that. Beautiful. See how everything's getting a little bit browner? Check it out. That's a lot of liquid, guys. But... I was saying these fat pieces have a lot more rendering to do whereas like that piece there is probably about done so we're getting a lot of liquid out of here which is what I want a lot more than I thought I would get from the beginning because I wasn't sure how much I would get so anyway I'm gonna let it go I want all those white pieces to be rendered fully out. I haven't turned it back on to, to low, because that was simmering. It, it, 
Actually, it was almost like to a boil. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to keep it on warm, stir it through the night. So we'll see how that goes. Good morning, guys. I let this fat render all night on warm. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Actually, quite a bit in there, you guys. Look. So now, what I'm going to do is first try to get most of this stuff out. The remnants of that fat there. Alright, I got most of it out. So now, I just have this strainer here. The funnel with a strainer. And I'm going to put it in this jar. I want to get as much as possible here because. Ah! Uh, oh, that gave me more than I thought. Nice. All right, so as you guys know, my goal was to keep it super white, and I don't know if you guys can see it on the spoon as I was stirring it and it hardens up, but check it out. And that is gonna be super white. So once this here um, hardens up, cools off and hardens up, I'll show you guys. But look at that, that's pretty exciting. Nice. Here it is, guys. That is really, really cool, isn't it? So I have a jar of tallow. Look what I did. I just wanted to see how hard it was. It was all pretty. Like a five-year-old, I stuck my finger in it. But that's okay. So this I'm going to um, figure out and calculate a soap recipe so that I can put, you know, use this oil in, in a new batch of soap. So I'm really excited about that. It turned out really pretty, really white really clean so that will be the method we do from here on out in the crock pot that worked really well just keeping it on warm so took a lot of hours but that's okay i was patient for it and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again soon and i'll be making soap <laughs> what was that <laughs>